play and call it work. Viewers, hello. Welcome to week five of Shadespire Shakedown. If you've been following this entire time, you'll find out that, spoiler, da 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 da, Jason and I are. Uh, it's in, the loser's bracket. Yeah, we're in the loser's bracket. So you have Luke here from Mini Wargaming, of course, with uh, Corporal Harris. You know, got to use titles here now. Yeah, as, as, as I guess Josh was doing it as well, so I might as well. Mini Wargaming, Josh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, or, or Josh from Mini Wargaming. There you go. Actually, everyone here has a preference on that. I hate putting, I hate saying Mini Wargamer, Luca. I hate it. So, Shadespire Shakedown. Yeah. It's happening. Shadespire Shakedown, round five. No, sorry, round three, week five, game one between the Skaven and the Undead. There is a, there is a slim chance that I could still come in first if I just absolutely oh. devastate Jason. It would be a pretty good game for him. It would be pretty great, uh, but I don't think so. And if, if Jason squeaks out a win, then he won't be last and we'll be... Squeaks out a win. Yep. Oh, oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. Me. That was intended. <laughs> of course it was. Anyways, I lost what I was saying. If I, come, if I beat him, right. I can get yes. third. Yes, Maybe thank second. you. That's it. And if I lose, then I'll probably be third or fourth. Simple as that. Easy. I don't, I don't, let's just get to the game. I don't want to lose. That would be awful. All hey, right, Harris is ready. I'm ready. I'm going to roll off for boards. <laughs> I got a critical. Oh, you got me then. That's not what I want. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Why? This is, this is, it's happening to me again. This is how we've set up the board. We've already put down the objectives and flipped them over. Jason chose this board. I chose this one. I lined it up like this. Is it correct? I don't know. Uh, just because I haven't figured out the strategy of this yet. Uh, maybe I'm just not very good at this game. Probably. But that's probably it. We've already drew our hands. We're both keeping our full hands. And we're going to roll off now to see who places a fighter first. I got a pretty good roll. Double yeah. critical. So... Uh, I'll let Jason drop first, because no matter what, he's finishing first. Hey, thanks. <laughs> All right, sepulchral guard deployed. Petitioner, petitioner, petitioner. Harvester, so, uh, the warden, and champion with the Prince of Dust. I still haven't found the purpose of a Prince of Dust. He's not great. He just hit stuff. He hit stuff for one damage. Across from me, we have the Stinky Skaven, the Hungry Skaven, the Lurking Skaven, and the Almost Trusted with Scritch. Scritch it is. Scritch, the leader in the very back. Rolling off. Jason finished first, so he's got a critical, and I got two. So can't get any critters kills out. Chris the critters. Chris the critters out. Oh, you buddy, you get to go first. I got nothing to really do. All right, my first action, buddy. Yeah. I'm just gonna fast ring scaven. One, two, three. On two. All right. That's are you it. are you gonna throw out any power? Am I gonna throw out any power? I don't think so. Yeah, it's a double pass on power. I'll go ahead with my activation, and I'm just gonna cycle an objective. Let's <laughs> see, get through my objective def uh, deck quickly. We'll get rid of objective two, because that's not happening, and my new draw is dis. I will pass on power, and yourself. I'm also passing on power. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna move my hungering Skaven, because he's super hungry, so he's gonna go over here. Also. Ooh, number one. Any power? Uh, no power, how about you, Luca? Same, no power. Nice. Off to a bad start for me. Uh, man, this is awful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have an activation. We're gonna cycle an objective. You know what? Yeah, we'll cycle an objective. We'll get a battle without end because I don't think that's happening in this action phase. And we'll get this <clears throat> one. And that's a double pass on power. All right, I'm gonna have Scritch. One, two, three, four, charge. The Harvester? Yep. Looking for two dice, hammers. Huh! Or, you know, a perfect hit. I can't stop it, so... How much damage is that, three? Uh, two damage. Okay. Are we gonna do a go for a push or no? Um, yeah, might as well. Which one? Right there. Ooh, right into the corner. Power? Yeah, I'm gonna play Heightened Caution, roll an extra defense die for the first friendly fighter to be targeted by an attack action in the next activation. Alrighty. I'll play nothing, and then Jason will pass as well. On to my activation. I'm gonna have the Warden tell two guys to move and we'll have we'll go petitioner there or maybe i like him petitioner there no oh, yeah petitioner there and petitioner there just to jump on objectives after that double pass on power okie dokie my lurking skirt skaven's gonna go one two three four 
five. Ooh. And he's making a charge onto your... This guy here? Nope. Ooh, onto the yes. harvester. Two dice on swords. No. Uh, hams. Hammies. What do you got? We're going to play Nervous Scrabbling. Choose Ooh. a friendly fighter. They switch places with an adjacent fighter, so he's going to trade places with your skeleton. Number three? Yeah. Ooh. 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 And that'll upgrade him. That's true. I won't play any power off of that, and Jason's going to pass as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll declare a charge with the Warden. He'll go here, and he'll do an attack against the Lurking Skaven. I do have double support here. Hammers and supports. Got two hits. And a critical. Good to go. He's good. And I'll play Confusion for a power, and I'll swap their spots again. That's fair. And then a double pass on power from there, and that is it for this round. So, you go first, you do your objectives, what do you got? One and two. Makes sense. That's two for you. And then are you going to discard your other objective or keep it? I'm going to discard it as it's harder. It's hard to get. Right. And then you're going to play any power upgrades? Uh, yeah. I'm going to give my Festering Skaven the Festering Blades. On a critical hit, this fighter's attack actions with a range one or two have plus two damage. Okay. That's fair, three damage, and that's it? Yes. All I get is holding objective three, which you almost pushed me off of. I'm gonna get rid of supremacy and hold objective four, just because it, it, ideally it would be amazing if I could get over there, but second action phase he'll get there, third action phase he'll get there. <laughs> I know, it's bad, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Other than cards helping me out, but I don't think that'll be the case. I can't rely on that. And then after I score that, I'll spend uh, my one glory and put undying on my warden. Action phase two, rolling off. I got Nothing. a support. Oh, you got one. Oh, All yeah. right. <laughs> I'll activate the warden and try and take out the lurking scape in there. Two dice. Hammers and support. We got one hit. You two dice, you just need to dodge. No. That's two damage. He's out of here, right? Yep. That gives me a wonderful glory. So I'll play no power. How about you? I'm going to put Sprinter on to... Scourge, Faster and Skaven. Faster and back there. What does that do? Plus one movement? Plus one movement, yeah. Puts a movement six? Yeah. Ooh. And then a double pass on power. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have Scritch go. One, two, three. Okay. And he's gonna make an attack on that petitioner. We have a charge. Looking for hammers. Two hammers. Oh, that's two hammers. Need a critical. Oh, oh, this guy. That's that's brutal. All right. What are you playing? I'm going to confusion. Swap just, them over just there. Just to make him... More uh, surrounded? Nope. Nope. Inspired. Oh, it does inspire him. That's fair. Well, I guess I'll upgrade the commander with lethal lunge. Gives him a three damage attack. Double pass on power. I'm going to activate. I'm going to have the warden go uh, one, two. And he's gonna give a poke at your guy. Two dice getting support. Oh, we got a critical. You have two dice as well? Yes. Oh, okay. No. Nothing. That's three damage. Oh, he's still alive. And I'll keep him where he is. And uh, I'm not gonna play any power. How about you? No, I'm good. Alright. One, two, three. No, so I'll just one, two, three him over there. With the lurking, or the festering scape in order to objective four. Yep. I guess we'll activate and have this. Mm, I suppose I'll charge the harvester. Wow. That way I get more support. So he'll attack Skrick. We're looking for swords and support. Got two hits. We got him. But unless. Play last chance. Last chance. Uh, anything that's not a success? Yes. Alright, so. Like oh, that. like that! No! So he just ignores the damage? Yes. So he's just back to one wound? Yes. Power time, I'm not doing anything. There are always more. I'm gonna summon him there. Ooh, ooh, ooh he's back. All right, Jason, what's your activation gonna be? Uh, we have no power to play after that. Correct, I'm gonna attack your warden. Or the, you know, the reaper. Oh, the grim harvester with the lurking scaven? Yeah. All right, into the harvester. Oh, we have a critical. A crit. Okay, here we go. We are looking for a critical. No, uh, that is how much damage? Just one, that's all I need. Oh yeah, he's dead. I forgot he took two earlier. Whoa. Any power from that? No power. No power? I will also play no power. Alright, that comes down to this petitioner trying to take out Skrick. 
I got two dice to attack with here. I'll say this one is attacking. And he's gonna have support from the other petitioner. Swords! Crit and a sword! So you need to roll at least a crit and a success. Nothing nope. Else. He goes down to a petitioner. That's him. Gone. That's a glory for me. No power on my end? On your end? No power on my end. So we'll go to your last activation. One, two, three. I wish I had three objectives in my territory. That'd be nice. It is super nice. Really you. I'll play a power. I'll play terrifying screams. He's just gonna go back over here. It's pretty horrible. <laughs> but all right. And I'll pass on powers as well. Both of us will pass. Yep. Uh, that'll go to scoring from, I'll do mine first. I went first. I'm only getting hold objective five for a fourth glory. Not, not really racking up a whole lot of glory here. I'm gonna get rid of tactical supremacy. Three, four, and one. What about you, Jason? Scritch is the greatest yes, yes, and hold objective five, I'm getting rid of. Alrighty. That's roll off time for action phase three. Oh, that was an awful roll. I got not a crit. Not a crit. First or second here, Jason? I'm gonna go second. All right, up to me then. Um, oh geez. We're gonna move this petitioner. Well, I guess we'll tell my warden to move two people. We'll go one, two, and then one. Then I'll throw down Shardfall. And I'll block that objective. It's pretty big. It's super big. <laughs> what you playing for power there? Um, first I'm gonna play Spoils of Battle to play an upgrade card. It doesn't cost me a glory point. That's interesting. Okay, it's kind of so cool. I'm gonna put Skitter Scurry onto Kirk the Almost Trusted. After any action that this fighter makes, I can push this fighter one hex. Sure, works. I'll play Restless Dead. Which brings the Harvester back onto a starting hex in my territory. And he's inspired. All right, what's next? One more to put Acrobatic onto my Lurking Skaven. So if this fighter has a dodge defense characteristic or has a shield defense characteristic but is on guard, I roll an extra defense dice when they are the target of an attack action. Oh boy. He's already got two built in? Yes. Yeah. I'll use a glory, and I'll play great strength on my champion, giving him plus one damage to any attack with one or two range. So champion's got three damage. And then Jason will pass, and I'll play sidestep, and I'll put my warden right there. Then we have a double pass, and you may do your first activation. All right, I'm going to have Kirk the Almost Trusted make a charge. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Then he's going to push because of Skitter Scurry and attack the petitioner. Leave him alone. All right, let's see what you got. What are you looking for, hammers? Hammers. Oh, that's not it. That's not what nope. I wanted at all. Uh, nope. Uh, I can see that being pretty bad. That's annoying. That, was that sucks. Pretty rough. That's a double pass on power. We'll go into my activation, and my warden is going to use lethal lunge against the almost trusted. Yeah, that's fair. Two dice on hammers and one support. We got a critical. So you need a critical to stop? No. Damage. That's him that, dead. That's flat three. He goes down, <sighs> which gets me another glory. And skills unforgotten for another glory, which I score immediately. And I'll draw this because. Sure. And I have no power to play after that. Neither does Jason. What do you have left? I'm gonna have this guy make a charge. One, two, three, four, five. Into the Prince of Dust. And he's looking for. Oh, if you have a critical, it's three damage he on him. He wants a crit. He wants a crit. You got a critical. And the oh. sword is a success? Oh, he's not inspired. Wait, we're gonna have to re-roll that. Oh, it's only two, two Oh, it's only two dice. Yet. Okay. This guy. No. Uh, he got nothing. Oh, oh no. Nothing. <laughs> we'll have the warden do lethal lunge against... Oh, he's, he's rolling a ton of dice. Might well, as the, well. Doesn't matter, I'll, I'll just attack him. I, I'm not getting anywhere else with my team. I got two attacks with double support, actually. We have two hits. One, two, I need a third. One critical stops this. You got three dice. There you go. There we go. Oh, geez, you made two. And I'm not going to be playing any power. All right, same. And what are you What are you doing for now? Uh, might as well attack a petitioner with my lurking Skaven, I suppose. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because he just came back this turn. That's right. Uh, that that petitioner? Oh, yeah. The petitioner then. Huh. Swords? I'm not, oh, oh, that's the wrong what, dice. What am I even doing? Here you go. Here you go. Sword. Hey, there we go. I have support, so support and dot. dodge. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. That's fair. What do you want? Top, middle, or bottom? Bottom. Bottom it is. Well, no power to play, so I have two options. I either try and deny denial by just getting to the territory over there, or I try and fish for a victory point off of him. I might not even have denial. 
I know, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. No. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because it's probably the smart thing. Uh, and I don't think I'm killing him because he throws three dice. I need a pretty good roll. Ugh. Can't really do much else than the last activation. No. Yeah, I'll just try to, I'll, I'll move two models. Uh, doesn't mean, I'll just move him, whatever. One, two. You're crazy. There we go. That's it. We'll call him done there. I guess one, two, three, four, five. We'll go over here. <laughs> and then double pass on power. This is Jason's last activation. I am just gonna make an attack with my Skaven up there. And uh, the champion. Yeah, might as well. He's not gonna kill him, but might as well. All right. Huh, critical. Oh, that's, there we go. Oh, there we go. Two hits. Two, two All right, hits. so I need a critical to stop it. No. All right. Yeah. You're gonna push him too? Yeah, I'm gonna push him too. Bam! He takes one damage, he's down to two. Any any power to play? No. Alright, so we'll check objectives in this third <laughs> action phase and start with me. So I'm getting this determined defender because both of them were on that for the second, first, second, and third phases, I believe. Yeah. And then, what about your objectives? Buddy, I could not. It, it was the shard fall? Yeah. Shard fall, I had, so I had to go full offensive. Yep. So I, I, I thought it was weird you let me go first in the third phase there. Well. That way I could like get the I like getting the last action. That's fair. Okay, and then I would you you needed three badly, and I was this petitioner refused to leave yeah, anything did. that went after him. Uh, admirable tries though. Uh, we're just uh, we're gonna move on to the round two here, where Jason is gonna try and you know tie up the series. Into and, the vault. Yep, into the vault we go. If you're not a vault member, click on the link below, or go to miniwargaming.com/shadespire. Get you the entire series for free, and uh, you can see who wins this little tournament. And uh, Maybe the surprise at the end. It's gonna be Jason. No. 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 No way. You got this, buddy. You just have to win the next <laughs> two games. Next two games. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Happy war gaming, everyone.